The public should know the official result of the Eighth Amendment referendum this afternoon after a strong turnout in the historic vote. From early morning yesterday, polling stations across the country experienced brisk and better-than-usual turnout as the nation cast their votes on the referendum to repeal the Eighth Amendment. At 12 p.m., voter turnout across Cork was at 16.2 percent, this compared to 13.3 percent at the same time of day for the general election in 2016, which is unusual for a referendum. By 5 p.m., the overall figure for Cork County had increased to 33.6 percent and this had again jumped to 51.76 percent by 8 p.m. One Dublin station in Glasnevin had recorded 24% by 12 p.m. and had increased to 62.5% by 8 p.m. last night. President Michael D. Higgins, along with his wife, Sabina, voted in Phoenix Park yesterday morning. Tasha Leo Varadkar, Tonase Simon Kavini, and other party leaders have been casting their ballots in centers across the country. After casting his ballot in Dublin's Castle Knock, Mr. Varadkar said, I always get a little buzz from voting, it just feels like it is democracy in action. Tasha Leo Varadkar cast his vote at the polling station in Dublin. Pick Niall Carson, PA Wire Health Minister Simon Harris who cast his vote in Delgani, Co Wicklow, said he was encouraged by the high turnout from early on in the day and also the fact that so many people had travelled home to vote. It really is all to play for now we are in 24 hours where punditry becomes irrelevant because it is in the hands of the people, he said. I hope the people will vote for a compassionate and caring Ireland. Just voted yes for a more compassionate. Please keep working to get out the vote. If you haven't voted yet, this girl left work yesterday got a train T-Shy Pole Airport flew to Dublin went to Sligo had a nap voted went to Sligo got the train to Dublin walked to the bus stop got to the airport and flew back to Amsterdam and is already back at her desk https colon slash slash t dot co slash row 6 zhgrc 5 p Annie West at Annie West May 25, 2018 casting his vote in Berlinlau, Fianna Fail leader Michael Martin said, I think people in the current debate have a far greater sense of the complexity of life itself and the complexity that this question opens up, and I think people get the nuances that life isn't simple, it isn't straightforward, whereas back that, in the 1980s it was almost a battle between two absolutes. There have been a significant focus on this debate in the last three weeks, I think the momentum really grew from the Maybank holiday weekend onwards, the increased registration is a telling sign and I think that's more towards the yes side. Michael Martin TD and his wife Mary at the polling station at Street. Anthony's Boys NS, Bilinlau, Cork. Pick Jim Coughlin ballot boxes from more than 6,500 stations across the country will be opened this morning and it is expected the count will be complete by this afternoon before the official result is announced in Dublin Castle. As voters continued to make their way to polling stations yesterday, Sinn Féin TD Peter Toibin, who went against the views of his party, took to Twitter to encourage a no vote. The measure of a people is how they treat the weakest and most vulnerable amongst them. There are none more vulnerable than an unborn child. Life, human rights and equality are not someone's choices. Cherish all the mothers and children of the nation equally and Those on the margins of society suffer most from abortion. Orla O'Connor, co-chair of Together for Yes, said she had heard of high turnout among a younger cohort in areas such as Sligo and Donegal. It means that young people are claiming ownership of their decisions and rightly so, they feel that they have a real say in things, said Ms. O'Connor. With two hours still to go in voting, returning officers had recorded 51% turnout in Cork East, 54% Cork Northwest and 50% Cork Southwest. While the vast majority of people voted yesterday, those living on some of the islands off the coast voted on Thursday. 
voter turnout only reached 50% on Innis Mian and Innis OIRR while it was 45% on Innis Moore. However, Innis Buffen had a turnout of 72%.